So leg 14 of the Moors Millions and this is the longer version, 3 miles and 7, so one or two of these will be probably trainers third choices for the Grand National, they can get in the top one, 3 miles 7 furlongs, 0 to 120, top one Agent Blur, Obi Wan, Emperor Fountain, Kevin Meenahan, Sharma Blue, Daniel French, Macarena, Paul Rhodes, Southern Quest, Kevin Meenahan, Brossa Leanne Fine, Doug Warren, Musée de Beauart, Martin Lidham, Paul Graham, Clutterbuck, Keki Rosberg, James Follis, Grainer Moore, Darren House, Talk Leon, Derek Hinton, Veloci, Obi Wan, Kristaliev, Darren House, Comanche, Stu Gray, and Scarlet Ridge, Doug Warren. So, let's see what happens in this then. Well, everybody's thought they've had a nice, easy option. So, away they go. With all the main four mile plus horses being in the Grand National over the first they go then and all over that one and the two of the cannier trainers may have here marked this as a potential easier win not quite sure which ones they are though because I can't figure it out if there is one so <laughs> anyway Emperor Fountain is the leader Veloci second Brossa Leanne Fine is third and there's a bit of a gap back to Macarena in fourth as they take the second over that one okay of course there is the added bonus of course if you qualify for the final in the last week of the season then that's a big prize for the final it's always a fall on there veloci has gone so Veloci, unless he's qualified already won't be turning up in the final and Emperor Fountain is the leader Brossoli and final of course the final is over the Grand National course as well and they skip over the next and these are strange distances that they have to move sometimes these Qualifiers. This is three miles seven, I think. The two finals, one of them's over three miles and five, I think, which is a couple of foot long shorter, and the other one's over four miles three, which is a good half a mile or more further. So, make it a bit of an interesting mix. Those races with the horses that qualify might not necessarily be their favourite distances, so it could be interesting from the final. So, they take the fifth, and you can see they are strung out like washing at the moment, and necessarily a good sign when they get so strung out early on sometimes means that we're not going to get the most exciting of races and we're going to do jockey camming on no we're not we're on grain and now we're going to muse out of bow art so now we would goodness knows what we're doing there it's just trying to give me a headache i think if i was doing this <laughs> anyway on muse out of bow art and um, i'm just trying to experiment in this race and um anybody who wants to learn how to be a commentator and still practice on this one i'm just going to be quiet for a bit and you have a go and send in your recordings to Stu gray at starters order six and he will evaluate the person to take over from me next season So there you go, that's given you plenty of time to get your um, audition tapes done. A few fences, get a little bit of an idea as they come to this next ditch. And over that one they go, and they're still pretty well strung out. We haven't lost anybody else in the race so far. And Emperor Fountain is in front from Brossoli and Fine second. Gap then of three or four lengths back to Kristaliev in third. And Comanche's moved through to fourth. With Macarena after that one, then Paula. And Grey is taught Leon. 
Scarlet Ridge on the inside in the Crimson Jacket and just behind them is the second of the Kevin Minahan horses Southern Quest with Agent Blue in the yellow and Musée de Beauart in the orange with Sharma Blue or Sharma, yeah, Sharma Blue after that one and then they're back to our Grain Amour and finally Keki Rosberg who is the back marker for Formula 1 Follis so they come down in towards the next with Emperor Fountain and Brotherly Anne Fine, Kevin Meenan and Doug Warren disputing the lead we'll jump that one really nicely and I feel they're getting a little bit more bunched up now than they were earlier on and racing downhill now swinging towards the straight and have one more circuit to go after this one and Brotherly Anne Fine and Emperor Fountain are disputing the lead skip over that that'll be the last next time round and oh, I thought we got a four of them but it was that little them um, <laughs> it was that little arrow <laughs> shooting across the screen it looked like a jockey falling off so past the winning post they go this is fast becoming a carry on Moore's millions road isn't it <laughs> so anyway it's Brosselly and Fine on the outside of Emperor Fountain it's almost the end of term we can all be a bit silly if we want it's Brosselly and Fine in the lead then from Emperor Fountain second Macarena is third as they jump over the next and we are going to lose Grain and Moore at the back, who's um, decided to pull up. These horses have got some sense, they know where the stable blocks are, and they tend to pull up pretty close to them sometimes. I'm going out there again, I'm going home for a chew on me hay sack. Anyway, it's Emperor Fountain in the lead. Not a hay sack, is it? It's a hay bale. Anyway, they take the next ditch. Actually, if you want to be technical. It's a hay net, but anyway, it's Emperor Fountain in front from Brosselly and Fine in second, then Paula is third, Comanche is fourth, then Southern Quest and Macarena as they skip over the next. And we're losing Asian Blur now. That's the latest one to depart the race. We've got a little more than seven furlongs to go, and Brosselly and Fine and Emperor Fountain dispute the lead from Comanche. Who's still going well in third? Paula is fourth. Southern Quest is creeping closer. I'm pretty sure that ran in their Grand National last season as they jump over the next. And we are now losing Kiki Rosberg at the back as well. So Kiki Rosberg going in for a pit stop. And Emperor Fountain in the lead from Brusselly and Fine second. Comanche third. They come down to the 21st and over that one they go. They all got over that one okay. And there's still plenty of chances here, but Emperor Fountain is in front. Good day for Kevin Meenhan so far. Brosselly and Fine is second. Then comes Comanche and Macarena. Over that one they go. The grey talk Leon jump that one. He's trying to get into it now, but they're into the business end of the race now. And Emperor Fountain's in the lead and he's clear by four or five. To Paula on the outside of Brosselly and Fine. Comanche's between the two of them. Macarena there was shorter room. Southern Quest round the outside. Sharma Blur is now making a bit of a run as well. Then comes Talk Leon and Musée de Beauart. The only two who look really out of it are Scarlet Ridge and Chris Daliev. But it's Emperor Fountain in the lead then Emperor Fountain comes down to the third last in the lead from Paula who looks a big danger on the outside then Sharma Blue in third then comes Comanche trying to run against Southern Quest will stay all day it's Emperor Fountain in the lead from Paula and Sharma Blur racing down towards the second last fence it's Emperor Fountain from Paula, Sharma Blue, then Comanche, then Macarena has now got some room. Southern Quest is after that. Brosselly and Fine is still there. They ran now turn towards the straight. It's Paula who's just gone into the lead. Paula from Emperor Fountain. Paula's in front of Emperor Fountain. Then Sharma Blue and Comanche. Then after that one, Southern Quest, Macarena. Blue moves out of Barch, trying to run, but it's got too much to do. They're inside the final field. They've only got one to jump on Paula. Looks like it's gone for home. Paula comes to the last. Paula jumps it well, gets away from it well. Emperor Fountain's trying to close so too is Brosselly and Fine but they're not going to get to this Paula and um, Paula takes it Paula's the winner for Fountain second Brosselly and Fine third Macarena fourth then Comanche and Southern Quest and Musée de Beauart and Scarlet Ridge was the last one to finish and Paula takes it for Graham Clutterbuck Emperor Fountain second for Kevin Minahan Brosselly and Fine for Doug Warren was third Macarena for Paul Rhodes was fourth and Comanche for Stu Gray was fifth